Hello and welcome to another video in our YouTube series about Microsoft Project. In this video, we are going to be talking about how you're going to connect your project to Power BI if you want to expand your reporting capabilities with the Power BI uh, tools. So there's two ways that you're going to have to do that and that's going to depend whether you're working with Project Desktop or Project for the Web. So if you want to know the differences between them, just make sure you watch the previous videos in this series. But for now, I'm going to show you where you would go regardless of uh, where you have your project saved. If you log into your Power BI account, you can go to the apps area. And that's going to be right here on the left side of your page. And there will be a button saying get apps right on the upper right side of the page. So if you go to get apps, you'll be able to find if you type here project, you'll be able to find some different connections that you can have. And I'm going to go ahead and actually go all the way down because both of the connections we need, they will be here. So the connection with this uh, older project icon, is going to be how you're going to connect to project desktop slash project online because you will see that you need to upload your project to project uh, online or project web app uh, to be able to use this connection or Power BI um, templates in general. And this new icon here is going to be for project for the web. So just a little notice, if you go to project for the web, and I'm going to show you that real quick before we continue. So I have that already open here. And you'll see that Microsoft just released a announcement saying that Project for the Web is going to be part of Planner. Okay. So if you are using Project for the Web, you might still have those capabilities. I'm not going to be able to uh, tell how the process is going to be different uh, after they make the transition, but probably you're still going to be able to use this just using a different connector. Okay. But the process will be the same. Just try to find Planner as the connector. But for now, I'm going to show you how it is done today. So I'm going to go back to Power BI, the same window that we were before. And we are going to first connect to Project for the Web because this one's going to be a little bit easier. And then I'm going to show you how you can do to Project uh, Online or a Project Web App, the project server that we can connect from Project Desktop. Okay. So first, Project for the Web. You're going to use the very last one in the bottom of your list. So I'm going to click on this one. And all you have to do is select Get In Now you will have to accept the terms. So you'll be prompted to pick a workspace where you want to create this report. So I already have a workspace. I already have a connection here. So for this reason, I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, a new one. You're probably not going to have the same amount of questions that I have here, but I'm just going to select here, install another copy of the app in a new workspace. Okay. But in your case, you can just uh, pick the one you want. And the name for the new workspace is going to be project for the web YouTube demo. I have an extra three here. So project for the web YouTube demo, and I'm going to go ahead and select install. It's going to take a few seconds to load. And as soon as it's done, you will get the message and you can go to the app. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the app. And this is what you see. I just want to draw your attention that this is going to be dummy data. Okay. So these are not my company's real data. You will have, and you'll see the warning right there up on top where you would have to go to actually connect to the data from your company, from your organization. So I'm going to go ahead and select connect your data. And you just need to pick the URL for your environment. The easiest way for you to find the URL for the environment, for the Dataverse environment that you're using is by going to Power Apps. So I'm going to open a new tab here and I'm just going to type make.powerapps.com. You can see the uh, address in my web, in my browser. And then it really depends in which environment you're going to be using project. By default, if you do not create any additional environments, everything that you create on project for the web, it's going to be in your default environment. So you just have to find right up on top your environments. Uh, my default environment is going to be this one called, uh, I think it's the personal productivity. That's the one. And you can see the environment type simply by hovering on top of the environment's name. 
and you will be able to see that this is my default environment. So everything that your organization creates in Project for the Web in general is going to be on the default unless your company creates a specific environments for certain groups of people working on a certain project. So for this case, I'm just going to pick my default environment, which is going to be this one, personal productivity. And I'm going to click on the two little dots here with more options. And I'm going to go to go to admin center. In your admin center, you'll be able to find the URL for your environment. So I can just right click on this uh, URL and then copy the link. And if I go back to project, which is in my Power BI uh, page right there, I just have to paste the environment here and click on next. And then it's going to update my information with the organization, uh, with my organization's projects. And then I'm just gonna sign in and connect. And then you can see that there is a refresh in progress. Once you have finalized the steps, the data is going to connect and you will be able to use uh, Power BI. There is a template already, so you don't have to be super proficient with Power BI. Uh, if you know the basics, you can start working with uh, Power BI's capability because all the data connections will be made for you by creating this connection through this parameter. Okay, so this is gonna take a while and then I can show you that the result for this one in just a little bit. Oh, there it is. So we have our data here and you have all the different pages. So I have my portfolio dashboard. So this is what I have here for the entire company. I have my portfolio timeline and you'll be able to see the timeline of your projects. Our projects are kind of like in this environment a little bit uh, left over time. So there it is. You can see them kind of like popping up in the timeline. We use this for some of the demos. Okay. And you can see all the different pages. And if you want, I can go to edit my report up on the right side. This is going to edit the app. And then I'm just going to select that I'm going to go to the workspace. In the workspace, you will find a copy of the report itself and also the data model that was used for the report. So if I open my report right there, you'll be able to uh, edit everything. And this time I'm not going to pick the very last one. I'm going to pick the one right before because this is how I'm going to connect to project, uh, projects that were created in Project Desktop. Just as a reminder, if you, if you work with Project Desktop, you just have to upload uh, your file. You have to publish your file to project, to project Online. And I'm going to show you that in your Project Center I'll, in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and follow the steps for this one. So I'm going to click on the second to last icon right here on my list, the one with the older project icon. And if I click on this one, Process is very similar. Get it now. Get it now. And then the same process here. I already have a workspace, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new workspace for this, which I will delete after this demo. So I'm just going to select a new one and I'm going to call this uh, project desktop YouTube demo. So I'm going to go ahead and install this one. And there it is. I can go to the app. The process is going to be very similar, but here there is a little catch. So again, this is uh, simple data. Okay. So this is not the data for my organization. If you want to connect to the data from your organization, I'm just going to go here to connect your data. And here you have to get the URL for the PWA site that you have uh, for the project. So this is going to be a little bit different. The location you are going to go to find that is going to be the project uh, web uh, page. So go to project.microsoft.com. You can see the address here in my browser. And you, if you go to the settings right here on the upper right side, you will see the option to uh, pick your PWA site. So if I click on my PWA site, it's going to give me exactly the URL of what I need that I need for the connection. So I do, I'm just going to go back and type the PWA site URL. Here you have an example of how the URL looks like. So you just have to remove this one and then paste yours on top of it. So this is going to be Pragmatic Works uh, PWA site. And I'm going to go ahead and click on next. The rest here is going to be very, very similar. So I'm, I'm going to sign in and connect as well. 
And I'm just gonna show you, I have my PWA site open here just for you to see. You need to have your projects, the projects you created in Project Desktop uploaded here, okay? So just make sure that you have them here. They cannot be locally in your computer. They need to be published in the PWA, in the Project Center, in your Project Web App uh, for you to be able to see the data on uh, Power BI. So we're still waiting for the connection to complete. And there it is, and now we have two projects. These two are the exactly two that we have here in my uh, project center. And you will see that the information that we have is only the information that I have uh, in those uh, sample files. Only one has some costs associated with it and this additional information. The other one is bl blank, it's just a template file. So you will be able to see all the different uh, informations here as well. And you have all the pages you can navigate to, so portfolio timeline, which uh, in this one is very, very simple. We only have one. Uh, portfolio cost, again, we only have one project with cost information associated with it, but everything is here. And the process, if you want to download the file and work in your project desktop, if you want to create new files, new pages, um, new graphs, new visuals, new reports, you can do that. Uh, just have to download this to your project desktop, to your computer, so you can work in project desktop. So I hope this helped you configure your connection because the connection between Power BI in project is a little bit different than the traditional connection that you go to get, uh, get data and then find the data and create the data model yourself. Microsoft made our life a little bit easier with those templates and you can just use them by connecting to your uh, sources. So either it's going to be the environments if you are using project for the web and I believe when they make the transition to planner that uh, process is still going to be the same. And if you were using project desktop, you just have to use your PWA site, uh, same as you would have used for uh, all your project uh, needs. Okay, so I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next ones.